My great-great-grandfather came here in 1853. In two years, my family will have been here 170 years. It's beautiful here. People like to live here because it's pretty, but we have a lot of highly erodible soil. I don't think it's enough anymore just to conserve our soils. We need to make them better. There's no one magic fix, you know, to soil health. It's a lot of little decisions you make every day that have a big impact over time. Wherever you are in that journey, you know, you, you need to be trending better. We feel like we're fairly far along on it, but we need to do better too. You have to embrace as much of the technology as you can, I think, and that's where True Terror has been, you know, valuable to us. My job is to go out to these growers and tell them what I think is best for their farming practices. Growers look to me as much as I look to them as far as what works, what doesn't, what I've seen. Truterra is a conservation program that I've really dug into these last few years. Basically, they're giving me a baseline score of their farming practice. I am plugging all into a computer and trying to figure out ways that we can improve their farming practices. When we started to use Jotera was three years ago, I sat down with Dylan Langle, my agronomist with Innovative Ag, and we plugged in each field, what practice we're using to see what kind of a score we have. And I've got a benchmark. What can I do to do better, to make it better? So that's my goal now is to step up the ladder and improve my score, which in the end will improve my farm operation. It'll make me more efficient, make better soil health, save some inputs, things like that. I just want to be a good steward of the land. Truterra makes it easier to realize that what we're doing is making a big impact and a good impact on the world. Truterra allows farmers to plug and play potential practices and then model what outcome might that have, not only on their yield and their profitability, but also what outcome might it have on their soil health. So it really takes some of the risk out of adopting new practices. As farmers continue to make decisions for their farms year over year, one of the things that they're looking at is ways in which they can improve their organic matter in their soil, how they can improve the air quality, maybe even draw down carbon, how they can improve water. Here's an opportunity for the farmer to take that data, that knowledge, and really make the best decisions that improve the impacts that so many people care about. When we talk about Truterra, we often say that it's an ecosystem for conservation because there is software, there is the relationship with the ag retailer, there are the industry connections and the opportunities such as this one working with Nestle Purina Pet Care. But we also work with NGOs, we work with nonprofit associations. It takes a village to make conservation happen on a farm, and we are working to pull all of that together, but do it in a manner that is trusted and effective for farmers. If you think about 170 years on one farm, that seems like a long time, but if you put it on a graph, it's just a pinpoint. I am the fifth generation, and my sons are the sixth, and then you know, obviously their kids, hopefully, will be the seventh. And it's kind of a source of pride for me. It motivates me to give them as much chance to continue and to be financially successful so they can give them at least as good an opportunity as I have.